That was a mute, right? So we want you to go ahead and enjoy Shabbos, right? So if it, so, therefore we say, okay, you can enjoy Shabbos, even though you only redeem one hundred percent. We are furthermore, however, he's buying type of sugar, and also the additional rule of the the tax collectors can go ahead and collect. So therefore, on Shabbos, if he's only miskalel, you know, at one hundred percent, but he didn't take on a chaimish, he can go ahead and join on Shabbos because they're, ultimately they're going to collect. And Oma Rabbi Rakhama says Rabbi Rakhama, Harei Amru Hekdish Eino Miskal. You can't go ahead and uh, deconsecrate something. You, let's say you donated uh, a beautiful table to the Mikdash, and you want to go ahead and redeem it. So I'm going to redeem it with this land. I'll be miscalled, give the land, the, donate the land instead. You can't do it. Right? He gives the money, the kesef. So everyone knows you need kesef. So Maosh, he's kal ala karka. So what about the show? Can you go ahead and be miscal the chaimesh and the karka? In other words, the hektesh I'm giving cash for, right? So a large donation, right? This diamond, the big, uh, big diamond, right? So it's a hundred thousand dollars, right? So let's just say. So can I say like this? I'll give the the hektesh a hundred thousand uh, dollars of money, and the other chaimesh I'll donate a piece, a parcel of land. So mouse he's call the karka. Or what, 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 so what's the look on that case? Or what about this case? Truma, let's say Truma, I go ahead and I, 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 you know, and I destroy someone's Truma, I have to attack out of Chaimesh. So, Eina Meshalabas, Elamin Achulin. I have to go ahead and repay him. Achulin, the Rachman Omar, Venas on the Kain, Esa Kaidesh. He says over there, you give him a Kaidesh. And I was Dover Harilio's Kaidesh. And I was something that can go ahead and be sanctified, something that, that does not already have Kedusha, i.e., Chulin. What about Chumsho Mahu? What about its fifth? Do I have to go ahead and pay that for Chulun, or can I pay for something else? So now, Shishtalim Shaloi Mina Chulun. Can he go ahead and pay for something else? Chulun or Meiser? So Meiser ain't Mischal Al Simon. It says by Meiser Shady, you can't go ahead and use a non-minted coin. The Rachman Al Marvet Zera Sa Kesi Be Adacha. It says over there that you should have the the the, the coin in your hand. The Rabbis is called Avashish Lav Lav Tzura, right? That we learn over there that everything has to be minted. However, Chaimsha, what about the fifth, the extra fifth you add on by Meiser Shani? Mahu, Sheskalo, Alias Simon. Can you go ahead and use something that's not minted for, uh, you know, to redeem the fifth? So the question is do, does the extra fifth have to be the same type of payment as the principal? <laughs> or can the Chaimsha be something outside the Pesukim? So he's got a Milsa, Umata, the Kami, the Rav. So this matter came before Rav. And Amar Lui told him, Amar Khan, the Pasuk says, Allah. It says the word Allah, right? Chamisha so Allah. The rabbi is Chumsho Kamaisa to teach you Allah that the Chaimesh is just like the Karen. Just like the case of the Karen has to be, let's say, one case of minted. Or in the case of Hektesh, it can't be from land. So too, the Chaimesh is treated the same way. And Amr Avin Afan Amin Tanina, we also learn a similar price that says Hagayne Truma, one who goes ahead and steals Truma. Now, remember, for Geneva, you have to give Kefo. <clears throat> so Hagayne Truma, so if I go ahead and I steal Truma, but I didn't eat it, I didn't destroy it. So since I stole it, Mashal and Tashlomi Kefa, I got to go ahead and pay the guy double, right? Demei, Demei Shuma. I pay him for the value of Shuma, right? Shuma is a discounted rate because it can only be sold to Kwan and it has to also... Shuma, the rate was at the coin? Or it was already at the coin. The coin had it and I stole it, right? So I did... What's the designated Shuma actually? Right. Shuma. Correct, but it could be the same halacha. Most, most of the stuff in the coin's house might be true in general. All his passion might be full of true. Well, he probably prefers not. Well, he probably does have, but he probably prefers not to because you have to keep it the, the tahara, right? So you have to pay him for the day true, which is actually a little bit of a discount. However, achla, let's say I stole it and I ate it, so it's no longer there. So in addition to paying kefal, I also have to pay a chemesh for destroying Shuma Tahira, right? So achla, Michelle and Shnei Kranim, the chemesh, I have to pay two principles plus a fifth. So Karen Chaimesh mina chulin. So one Karen Chaimesh mina chulin for destroying uh, a truma. So what do you see over there? The Chaimesh has to be just like the principal. Just like the principal is mina chulin. Right. So to the Chaimesh is treated the same way. That Karen to make truma. The extra Karen for stealing is a double value. Of, but then I get the discount rate of truma. So shma mina. Turn the page. Indeed, learn from here that Chaimsha Kamaisa shma mina. Indeed, that the fifth that you pay is identical to the way you have to right. pay the principal. Top line in Nundal and Abbeis. Uh, Best we'll get to the bottom line of Nundal and Abbeis. So, Oma, Robo, Gabi, Gezel, when it comes to Gezel. Now, Gezel, see, it says over there, let's say I, I steal something from you, and it was in Friday, or, or let's say you gave me a Picado to watch, and it says, give it back, and it says, uh, whatever it was, I said, it's gone, it was, uh, it's gone, but I really hold it out to it, and I swore. So it turns out, then I said, confess, you know what, I lied, 
So I have to go ahead and bring a claimant in addition to paying back the principal. <clears throat> so my Rav Agabe Gezok says Yosef Olav. Add on a fifth with Tanan, and we learned in the Mishnah. Nason lois a keren v'nishva lo al chaimesh. Hare ze meisif chaimesh. So let's say I sold five hundred dollars, right? Or I have five hundred dollars. I swore I didn't have it, and it turns out I lied. So I got to pay. I sold for Alan. I got to pay him back six hundred bucks. So I paid him five hundred, and then I say, "Oh, I paid you six hundred dollars. I lied about the extra chaimesh." And then. I compounded it. Exactly. Then I said, you know what? I confessed and I swore I didn't owe it to him. Then I said, confess, I lied. So, in addition to paying the original Chaymesh on the $500, I got to pay a Chaymesh a fifth on the $100. I got to throw on another $20. So, in the end, I got to pay $620, right? We'll calculate it that way. But then I said, Kevin Ishbal Chaymesh, Hareza Maisif Chaymesh Al Chaymesh. Add the she's might, and this goes on, and then I swear, and then I, you know, say I paid him everything, and it turns out I didn't pay the twenty dollars, and I got to pay so much on that, and so on and so forth. Add the she's might, I care in pockets, we shall approve. You got to go ahead, always pay until right the principle that I'm the amount I'm lying about is less than a sheva pruta. So it says over there by Gezel the Farish, you go ahead and you pay a fifth for the fifth. Now, Gary Truba also by Truma, because if it says over there, Ish ki yechel kaidash bishkaga. If I go ahead and I eat Kaidish Bishgaga, then I gotta go ahead and pay the coin back as Shuma Vyasi Kamisha so love and I go ahead and tack on. But tonight we learn how Aicha Truma Bashege Bashal and Karen of a Khaimesh, right? Uh if I if a person goes ahead and he eats Shuma Bashege, he has to go ahead and repay the principal and a fifth. So Akhara Aichel, Bakara Shaisa, Vakara Sak, whether he eats it or drinks it or he uh, anoints with it, Akha Truma Tahira, Bakha Truma Tamea, whether Shuma Tahira, Shuma Tamea, the Shalim, Humsh. I got to go ahead and add on a fifth. And if I also go ahead and then I eat his fifth, then then a fifth of the fifth, and so on and so forth, and so forth, and so on and so forth. So you see that the fifth is treated just like the principle that you tack on a fifth for the fifth. Now, Gabi Meiser, by Meiser, there is no positive, and there is no Brisa or, or, or Mishnah to state that you pay a Chaymesh on the Chaymesh by Meiser Shani. There's also no question regarding it. So Gabi, Hektish, what about Hektish, right? It says over here by Hektish, you redeem something, which is Hektish, you have to add on a fifth. So Xeve, now the question is, if you go ahead and you, you do that, and then you say that, and uh, so when you pay it back, the, then all of a sudden you go ahead and you, then you want to go ahead and redeem that fifth that you gave, do you have to give another fifth? See, boy, look. So Gabi, Hektish, Xeve, even Maktish, Yigal, as Beso. First, it's Maktish, he redeems his house for Yosef Chamishis. And he goes ahead and he adds on a fifth. So of Arkansas, right? So he should go ahead and tack on a fifth for the value. Utanan, Hapoidis Akhadesh, Maisif Khaimesh, Khumsha. One who goes ahead and redeems uh, a Hakdesh, he adds a Khaimesh, and also Khumsha now is even if he goes ahead now, he wants to redeem the original fifth that he did, so he would tack on a fifth of a fifth, even though that's not the original Hakdesh. Uh so Tan Khumsha the Khumsha. So it says, so Khumsha, excuse me. So it says Maisif Khaimesh. So Khumsha Tanan, Khumsha the Khumsha, Loy Tanan. But it only says the fifth is added, but it doesn't say a fifth to a fifth. So my, so what do we say? Do we say Gabi Chumaksi Vyosef with the Vav? So Gabi Hagdish Nami, Hoksi Vyosef, right? So the, the Vav and both just like over there by uh by Truma, we say you add on a fifth to the fifth. So to by Hagdish, you add on a fifth to the fifth. Or Dilma Gabi Chumaksi Vyosef. It says over there, Vyasef, and the Ishik Altalay, the Vav, the Vyasef. If you take the Vav from the Yasef, the Shadislay, a Chamisha So. And he put it, throw it right on the existing word of Chamisha So. Havile, Chamisha Sov. Right? This is the double Vav, which would be plural, the fifths. Right? So you see, there's multiple fifths. However, Gabi Hakdish, see Vyasef, Chamishis. It says over there, he has a Chamishis. Afagav, the Chishadislay, Vav, you take the Vav, the, uh, uh, the Vyasef. We'll just say so it's fifth. In other words, one fifth. So maybe by Hektish is only one fifth. But if you want to go ahead and, and and take back the fifth that you took, so and you want to redeem it for different for something else, then you don't have to add on a fifth because you only pay one fifth when it comes to Hektish, but not two fifths. I or a fifth of the fifth. I but typically the Avile Hektish Shani. Why don't you say it's Hektish Shani? No, it's the original Hektish was something that was consecrated. The, the, the second part is only called Hektashani. In other words, it's only something that became Kedusha because it was the Chaymesh. The Rabbi Shimon Levi says, 
a hectic Rishon Meisef Chaimah, something which is original has the Kedusha, there you had a fifth for Al Hektish Shani, but something which was only became, they had the Kedusha because it was the Chaimah, and Meisef Chaimah. If you want to go ahead and redeem that, there is no extra fifth. So Amar Lei Rav Papi Lei Ravino, Hachim Arav, is what Rav says, Chaimah Ketchilas Hektish Dami. The Chaimah is just like the initial Kedusha Dami. So in other words, i.e., you would pay a fifth on the fifth. So my havila, no, what's the maskana? So I'm rav to uh I'm rav to the yumi mishme de bay omar kalapasi says the yasif hamishas kasif arkika. Says over there, by hektish, it says over there you add a, a, a fifth to the uh to, to, to you know to the value of it. So makish hamishas the kasa so so chaim shall the kasa of arko. So we make hektish over there. Ma kasav arko, my sif chaim is just like over there by kasav arko by erach, you go ahead and add a fifth. Av kasav chaim show, so too the kasav of the chaim is also nami my sif chaim is. So too you add a fifth. So gufa, amar rabbi shuba levi, speaking of rabbi shuba levi, al hektish rishon my sif chaim is al hektish sheni eight my sif chaim is. You only go ahead and pay a fifth on the original principle, but you never go ahead and pay a fifth on the extra fifth. Uh, my time there should be late. What's the reason with Shubal Levi? So, my couple of pockets says, you know, Makdish, so we're talking about by Chulin, by the Makdish, let's say a house, Yigal as Beso. So, it says that then the person who sanctified it wants to go ahead and redeem his house. So, Hamakdish, lo Hamakdish. In other words, you only take something which was made consecrated by the Makdish and not something that was made, that made, uh, uh, Hectish by being a fifth. Because that part, the Pasuk seems to sound like only the original Karen, because the original Karen could be referred to as a Hamaktish, and now referring to something that it could do because it was the extra Chaimish. Like compounded interest or something. Like that. Right. So we're saying that by Hektish, it doesn't. It's only the Hamaktish, not the others. It's a tiny time coming to Rabbi Yelzer. We have a, a, a tiny support. It was something that was taught, uh, a Brysa was support in, in uh, it was a Brysa was taught in front of Rabbi Elozar. It says, Vima Behema Tmea. It says if the ant, let's say the animal was donated, right? I donated my horse, right, to the the base of museum by a tamema. Well, the archive, you go ahead and redeem it for its value. So ma behema tamea, just like a behema tamea, you've had this. It's 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 unique. So it's so hectic. It's it's initial thing is hectic. We'll soon see what that means, right? The business channel, I guess, we'll have to see because because then tomorrow is daft. So just like something has initial. The initial ma behem to mayam yuchadish tzvaso hektish is the initial is hektish. The kula the shemayim is the type of thing is a shemayim. In other words, it's not a korban. A horse cannot be offered as a korban where owners eat it. Right? Um, while limba there is meila if one goes ahead and uses this horse for his own personal benefits while it's hektish. Afkol so to anything should chilaso hektish which starts off as hektish. The kula the shemayim and it's all the shemayim while limba there is meila. And Alma Rele Rabbi Yazir Latana. So he says, Rabbi Yazir says, Tana, so Bish Loma Kula Shemaim. I understand Kula Shemaim that this, let's say, non kosher animal, a horse, the mute Kachim Kalim to the Sula, let's say Kachim Kalim, let's say a sheep, which could be Kachim Kalim, right? The cave on the Sula, the Bailam, Begavayu, Las Bumila. So I understand since the ownerships have ownership in it, the owners have ownership in it, therefore there is no Meila if one goes and uses it, right? So that makes sense. But in the case of a cow, or excuse me, not a cow, a case of a horse, is a, where it's, it can't be used as a korban, so therefore it's all the shemaim, and therefore it's mila. El tchilas hektish. What does it mean tchilas hektish? Let me What does that come to exclude? What's considered to be tchilas hektish? So it means tchilas hektish. Who the east bay meila sounds like only something that initially had the hektish, i.e., the principle of all these cases. Uh, however, soif hektish less la be ima, but something which is only soif. A hektish, i.e., let's say it was the chaimesh, there would be no meila by it. So the says, no, deal with the chaimesh kamarata, right? Maybe it's only regarding the chaimesh, that's where time occurs. Shimon Levi, like Shimon Levi says that there is no, the solution the chaimesh, you have to add out a fifth. But maybe when it comes to other matters, uh, maybe uh, uh, it, it, there could still be meila. So I'm yes, this is what I meant. I meant it was referring to the chaimesh, now referring to meila. All right, we'll stop here at the bottom line. Everyone have a chat kosher smack. So I, I believe Rabbi Reese uh, will be giving uh, for the next two days.